All right, I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes, and this is my results of the mob spawner, um, all the drops and stuff. I know it looks really neat and organized. That's because I just picked it all up and spit it back out into the four different sections. It looks like a lot more when it's all scrambled. Let me pick this all back up, and I'll show you guys how much there actually is. Okay, so we... 34 plus 37, that's 61, plus 23, that's 84, plus 15 is, what is that? That's, that's 100, no, that's 99, plus your three string, and then one feather over there. So that's, what, 105 drops every 10 minutes. I'd say that's pretty good. All right, now time for the video. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mooping9 here, and today I am back bringing you guys a video over the ultimate mob spawner in Minecraft Pocket Edition. And this sucker took me forever to make, so go ahead and leave a thumbs up uh, for all the time and effort I put into making this here spawner. But, as many of you know, um, according to my Twitter, I released a few tweets out about this. I've been gone for almost three weeks now, to be exact, 20 days, away from home, and um, on vacation so this is my first video back here at home and it feels good to be back into it and I apologize for all those days that I'm gone but I hope you guys understand since it was vacation and uh, vacation is about not worrying about stuff so um, all the videos that upload were uploaded in the past 20 days were scheduled videos if you guys didn't know but aside from all the vacations and missing days that I was not here on YouTube Let's go ahead and get started with here, with this here video. So I am in creative right now just to show you guys um, around. And this was not made in survival, just in case you guys were wondering. Uh, this was all made in creative, but it was all for the purpose of this video. Um, I do not expect to ever make anything this complicated in survival ever. So um, this is just kind of a creative screw around thing, see how it works once I switch it back to survival. So I think it works really, really good. Um, if not really, really good, I'd say it works pretty good. So, I don't know. Overall, it works pretty good. Anyway, let's go ahead and break this sucker down. So, as you can see, this main chute here um, connects to what you would call, or I would call at least, your basic mob spawner top. Where, hold on, let me, I will go down there here in just a second. But, you can see this, this mob spawner top here on the bottom that I'm standing on. It has four separate, actually five, but I'm going to go with these four, these outer four here for now. There's four separate chutes that are connecting outwardly to another spawner exactly um, exactly the same as this base one here, and I have no GUI on, so I'm kind of missing my controls here and there, but this spawner is exactly the same as this spawner here, and all four spawners here on top, but as you can see, this one that they're all um, laying on top of, you could say, is much, much larger than all of these. That, in fact, is four times larger um, to be exact, so it spawns quite a bit more mobs. Anyway, this larger spawner, I will go inside here in just a second to see you guys, show you guys what's inside of them and how it works, um, will fall down through this chute, eventually connecting with this chute, and it all comes down right conveniently in this little opening, if I can find it, right here, and walk in and collect all the drops. So, as one other thing you might notice, is all these torches everywhere. That is to light up these dark areas that the shadows cast down from, since it's pretty large structure, cast down a bunch of shadows. So you have to light up that area, or else there will be a bunch of mobs spawning down there um, once it starts getting nighttime. And so, yeah. That's what you want to do if you have a giant moss water casting shadows. Put torches on the ground so mobs aren't spawning on the ground and on your spawner. So, we're going to go ahead and climb up in this um, spawner here. And I will show you guys your way around. Or my way around. Whatever. Um, so, it probably will be getting a little dark. But, it's actually looking pretty bright. Okay, so here is your basic... This is what I would call my basic spawner. You have the four... The four quadrants where the mobs will spawn on, and eventually they will walk around until they land in the water, float down, and basically they can't do anything about this. The only thing uh, that is flawed about this system is spiders 
And um, I don't really care too much for spiders. They just drop a piece of string, which I guess can be useful for wool and stuff. But um, I don't really care as much as the other mops. But anyway, they can just climb right up and back onto this. So it might be a while if you have a bunch of spawners or spiders stuck up here, which I usually do have an abundance of spiders rather than other mobs. Um, they will be stuck up here for a while. But anyway, most mobs will just fly on down and go down the chute and immediately die, leaving their drop right here for you to pick up. And I'm not sure if I want to leave this map um, as a download for you guys. Um, I might eventually, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, let me show you how this these shoots work. So let me go into one of the four mob spawners that I showed you. And let's hop right into this real quick. So yes, this is exactly what you just saw. But this gives it more chance. There are more mobs to spawn since there's four quadrants. So they'll fall into this chute and fly down here. Go down here and into the water of the first chute or the first mob spawner I showed you. And um, this might be really confusing to you guys. Um, it's extremely hard to explain um, if somebody doesn't know about mob spawning and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys are staying with me. I'm trying to do my best here. And if you get confused, uh, just leave a question down in the comment section below if you have any. And I will be sure uh, to hopefully, most likely, answer it. So... We are now in the giant mob spawner, the one that is four times um, as big as the others. I believe it's four times. So one of these quadrants will be the size of your normal mob spawner. Now, this gives a bunch more area for the mobs to spawn, and they fall down just like any other mob spawner um, that I just showed you, and they'll fall down here, except they'll pass the uh, original, the first mob spawner, down, and they'll die no matter what. But as you can see, these water spouts right here, um, these just connect right up to the four, if I can get up here, yes. Okay, so this is one of the four that I showed you guys. This only one of these has this back area where mobs can fall, and then they'll just fall into this large spawner. I know it's really complex. Um, uh, you guys might be understanding well, I don't know, but I will, you know... I'm not sure. I might leave it up for download so you guys can explore and test it out for yourselves. But I know what you guys have really been wanting to see, and that is how it runs. So, I'm going to go ahead... Excuse me. What? I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm going to go over to survival really quickly, and I'll be back in just a sec. Hey guys, really quickly before I switch it over to survival here in just a second, please leave a comment down in the comment section below whether or not you would like to see a mob spawner tutorial over your basic mob spawner here. Um, sadly, I would not make a tutorial over the entire thing because that would take way, way too long. So just your basic one here that you can kind of see that's lit up. Uh, just the top and the shoot down, how to make that. Um, just leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys would like to see that. I'm pretty sure I'll make one anyway, uh, but I just want to get your guys' opinion on that. So anyway, I'll switch it over to survival right now. Alright guys, I am now back in survival to test out the mob spawner, and I decided to turn on my GUI just to prove to you guys that I am in survival. And let me turn up my D-pad just a wee bit. Okay, so I have it on peaceful right now, so no mobs are spawning at the moment. But I will turn that on right now, and we are going to go ahead and get started with this, and I do love the new um, in-game menu screen with 0.7.2. If you guys didn't know 0.7.2 is out, go update right now, right now, after this video is over. So, um, hopefully the mobs are starting, yep, there's one flying down right now. Okay, I have not officially measured the amount of drops that spawn, or that fall, excuse me, uh, every minute. I believe would be the measurement I would go off of, um, but I'm not I'm not too sure. I might test that out eventually. But I will not let this map out for downloaded or downloaded for download right off the beginning. Leave a comment if you want this map to be available for download. It's actually not really a map. It's just this one build on a super flat map. So that's pretty much it. But it did take me forever to make. So please leave a like for that if you didn't already. And let's see what time it is really quickly. 7.23. Once it hits 7.24, I'm going to go ahead and stop. Excuse me there once again. And I love the chat, by the way. If you guys haven't checked this chat out, it's beautiful. And you don't have the auto cap on anymore. That was so annoying. But yeah, you can stand here for 10 minutes and get a bunch more drops than this. Um, I'm not sure 
if you would consider this to be a lot of mobs spawning at once or whatever. Um, I've not, I'm not really super smart about mob spawning and everything. And I just got nailed with that zombie. I do have um, a bunch of health turned on. Stupid 10%. Okay, so anyway, I've been sitting here for, okay, I don't think that was an entire minute, but we'll go ahead and say it is. And if you guys noticed, at the very beginning when I turned this on, a bunch of the mobs did not drop anything. That happens um, quite a bit, actually, with the zombies. They're not going to drop anything, but that's all right like that. There's a good example. So anyway, you can just stand here for five or ten minutes and get a good amount of drops. Go do something else. And the reason that I designed it like it is, is because... Let's say you're doing something way over here, and you're la la la, but you don't realize, you think, oh, I'm just doing something over here, my mobs are spawning over here, when they're really not, you're 128 blocks away, which is the limit of mobs, mobs will not spawn when you're 120 blocks away from them, or if they're already there, already there they will automatically despawn. Um, I made it like this, so that there's the four quadrants sticking out, so let's say you're doing something over here, there's not just one spawner there's multiple spawners that could be spawning different mobs at the same time so if you guys understood that then great if you didn't don't worry about it so yes please leave a comment if you would like this map to be put up for download downloaded i keep saying that for download and uh, this has been what two minutes now i believe and we've got 6 14 um 20 23 drops um that's i know that's not a whole bunch but if you sit here for a couple more minutes you'll get You'll get some more, obviously. So yeah, that is basically it for today's video. I'm so glad to be back. I hope you guys um, are glad as well. There's going to be a lot of videos coming out here soon. And I have been working on a pretty cool video for you guys here soon. And look at all these mobs that aren't dropping anything. That's just, that's just silliness. I don't like that. But yes, be on the lookout for some cool new videos here soon. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Feel free to leave a comment, follow me on Twitter, and there will be a bunch of other stuff in the comment section below for you guys to check out. And that is it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys soon.